Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. It's soaking wet here because of the dew, but it is just a gorgeous fall morning. No wind, a perfect day to get up there and put on some purlins. These purlins took an entire day without videoing. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take with videoing, but now that I know how to do it, I could probably get about the same amount in in a day, but that remains to be seen. All right, let's start moving some ladders around and get these purlins in up here. Everything is just totally drenched because of the heavy dew last night. Hopefully that burns off real soon because you hate to have wet stuff when you're working up high. All right, I'm gonna have to towel this off, move the gator, and then get this ladder moved to the spot right here. Good morning, turkey. I need a clamp and a clamping block to pull stuff into alignment. If I had a travel lift, I wouldn't need this stuff and things would go a lot quicker, but I don't have a travel lift. One little trick that I learned is to match your nail up with the 2x4 and just put a line around it right at the depth of the 2x4. Then you can pound the nail in until it hits that line. And go just a little bit past Now just the tip of the nail is in the wood and you could still do some adjusting with just the tip of the nail in the wood and it'll hold everything where it needs to be. Then a couple good wraps and that fixes it in place. If it's way off, you have to use the clamp. All right, the day is nearly over and I've filmed almost nothing, but I got, what was it, the last three purlins on that side and then all of the top purlins on this side and then I just started from the bottom. The top purlins are by far the hardest to do if you're doing it from a ladder. I have to put a purlin in, then adjust the ladder to lean on that purlin and then get the next one in and I have to fasten it in three places, which involves taking the ladder completely down and going to another bay. It takes a long time, but once you get back to this stuff, well, actually the tails take a good deal of time. Once you get to the purlins above the tails, that goes pretty quick. It probably took me, oh, an hour and a half to get those three tails in and a half hour to get those three purlins in. So I have one more purlin to do here. This is it right here. I got to lug it up there, set it on the nails, and then get up there, nail it, go down, over, up, nail it, down, over, up, and nail it. I hope that makes sense, but I will show you all that. I'll strap this thing to my head and we'll get this one in. Normally, I would not just pull one purlin up there and nail it in and then come down and do another one. These other ones, I did all three of those. That's as much as I could do in the one sitting. Now, we just have the one left, so let's get that pulled up and nailed in. It would be so much easier with a travel lift and just go up and down in the bays, but I don't know if I mentioned the cost. They rent them for $800 a day, and I don't know if I could get it done in a day. So there's no way I want to spend $800 or $1,600 to get these purlins in. That's way more than we're going to pay to have the Amish come and put the tin on this. All right, we've got to get up here. All right, hopefully this is showing. But we got to come out onto here. It is so much easier on the ends here because you have something to stand on. 
when you get out there, it's taller than I am, and I can't climb up these these angled webs. So I have to do that with a ladder. This is as far as I can go. I believe I showed this earlier or possibly in a different video. Oh jeez. That's the second time today I dropped the cap. Mark the nail. That's how far I have to pound it in before it's going to start grabbing. I don't want to pound it too far, but I don't want I don't want it not pounded in enough. Right there. Now the point's right on the other side. Okay, it's right where I want it. And it's still right where I want it. Okay, now we'll get that one. On these other ones, I nail one, two, three, you know, so there's a lot more to do. Just nailing one in is kind of kind of non-productive, but it is the last one. This one needs to be adjusted that way and my clamp pad is way over there all right I'm gonna go do that one and then come back and do this last what a pain in the butt Okay, this one needs no adjusting at all.
Okay, we're back. That's it. We got three bays done. That is about half. So tomorrow I would like to finish this up, but I don't know if I'll be able to get up there or not. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow. If it is, I'm going to start working on these grade boards. So if you want to see the grade board action, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.